Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate how to pack the Robo Wonderkind extension kit. So we start with the foam and the box. So this is what the outer cardboard box will look like. And you can reference the back for all the components that goes inside it. Next, there is the black uh, EVA foam. And there will be two pieces of it, one for, for the tray and one for the cover. Now, uh, normally the foam will be inside the box, but in case it doesn't, you place the foam inside the box like that with the three modules face, uh, three module slots facing towards the lid. And then we're gonna demonstrate how to fill this out. First off, we're gonna use the R506 screen cube. Again, if you don't know what it should look like, you should just pack it as according to the back of this, but not exactly in this order. So you obviously can't fit like that. Next in the second one is the R505 dummy cube or uh, connector cube that goes there. And then is this the R507 uh, accelerometer cube. That goes there. Make sure the unique face is facing up, not that is wrong. Uh, unique face facing up towards the customer. Now let's pack these four surface module slots. So first we have the R601 button. Is the clicky one, goes in the first one. Then we have the R602 RGB LED, which is the white and yellow one. That goes in the second spot. Then we have the R604 uh, light sensor. Yes, we jumped the number from 602 to 604. That goes in the third spot. Finally, we have the R605 motion sensor. It's the one with the bulging white eyes here. That goes the last one. This is where the accessories will go. So first of all, we have one R703 wire connector. Followed by three pieces, one, two, three, of these green R702 universal connectors. Finally, we have the four, one, two, three, four, uh, positive brick adapters. So that's four of the white ones that goes in there. That's how, now we're finished with the module placement. We close the lid with the foam and Depending on which version of the packaging you have, you may or may not have this envelope glued onto the lid. If you do have this envelope on the lid, um, place this purple hello and welcome leaflet inside the envelope. If you, if the version of the box you have do, do not have this envelope on the lid, just place the hello and welcome leaflet on top of the phone and close the box like that. This one already has the barcode sticker applied, but if necessary, the factory or the warehouse will provide you with a barcode sticker. And then you can apply the barcode sticker to the back. This is the back of the box. Right here, there should be a, a grayed out spot for the sticker underneath it to indicate where you should place it. Thank you. And that's how you pack a Robo Education Extension Kit.